So last week when we talked, we talked about uh, shoulder mobility and how the scapula affects that. And we talked about putting the ball behind our back and our scapula, laying in the back and trigger point in that area. Hopefully you Google trigger point and learn something about it. Today we're going to talk about the opposite side because we're three-dimensional athletes, three-dimensional people. And shoulder impingement also, not just from the scapula, can come from the pectoral. So two options you have with the, uh, uh, the cross ball and trigger point. One is just a simple massaging, and this can be done anywhere at any time. Just taking the, the cross ball, say the top of the chest, and working your way down the bottom of your chest. And basically, just give yourself a uh, self massage through those muscles. So you're pushing down and away. It's kind of like kneading bread. Uh, if you find some sore spots, you can stick in there for a little bit and push against it. Now, if you're a little tighter than that and you need something a little more effective, you can use a corner of a wall, uh, door jam. You want to stick that ball right up to that, and you want to put the place the ball right below the scapula or right below the. Uh, <laughs> what am I putting this below? You have, to, you have to fix this. Right below your collarbone and the pec minor, which inserts right in here to the shoulder. So you have push in there. Get some good tension driving in, and now from here the cool part is with using a wall or the bar here is you can start doing range of motion behind your back digging into that pec minor, go through some different planes and find some different points that might be uh, a trigger for you. All right, one thing I think we neglect to do a lot of times for working out is a warm up because it's boring. Uh, a lot of times it takes too long. So we're talking about shoulder activation and preparation. Uh, what I want you guys to try this week anytime you do maybe bench press, pull ups, uh, military press, anytime you're going to be using the shoulders and pecs is grab a band. You can use a mini band or just one of the uh, TheraBands that are laying around the gym. Do about three to five minutes of either jump rope or jumping jacks to get the body warm. And all we're going to do is grab this, put it out in front of us, and we're just going to pull apart. And back. And we're going to do this about ten times. Right there. And then again, because we're three-dimensional, we're going to go at an angle. So one hand up, one hand down, at an angle, and pull and separate. And ten times there. And switch. This next one we call a dislocator. A lot of times you see people do the PVC pipe. Uh, today I want you guys to try it with a band because it gives the ability to just have our hands close and for each person's flexibility it'll stretch as you go up and over. This one's called a dislocator with a band. Do this 10 times. Keep the elbows locked straight, active shoulder. And the very last one, we're going to take that same grip, go up and overhead behind the neck, and we're going to do Pull downs, just like if you're doing a lap pull down, and then a press. Pull down and a press. Do that for prep work before you do shoulders. Uh, get after it.